D2L offers a place that allows you to take a snapshot of all of the dates in your course and to edit those directly in that area, along with the possibility of offsetting your dates either forward or backwards as a group. To get there, click on Edit Course, click on Manage Dates, and you'll see all of the different items that you can view the dates for, which are Content, Discussions, Dropbox, Grades, News, and Quizzes. All of these items in D2L allow you to put dates on them. For our purposes, we're going to filter by a specific tool. We're going to just look at our drop boxes. I'm going to apply that filter. And we can easily see each drop box's start date and end date. This is the availability time. Note that in this area, you cannot edit due dates, only the start date and the end date. You're able to see exactly how many days between the start and the end date and whether this item is viewed on the calendar. If you see that you want to edit a specific date, you can click on the drop down arrow, click edit dates, and choose to edit that one date and to choose whether you want to display it in the calendar. If you want to edit a variety of dates, you can select all or you can choose individual items. You can click on edit dates. You can set a start date for the bulk. You can choose whether to add it to the calendar for the bulk or to remove those items from your calendar. In addition, you can choose to offset those dates. Offsetting means that you can change the number of days to move items forward, backward, or you can calculate that number of days based on two dates. So for example, if you wanted to change semesters and these dates, the semester started on May 13th, or May 20th, and we now wanted these dates to start on August 18th. We can click Calculate. That's a 90-day difference. Save. And all of our dates will automatically move forward 90 days. If these dates are on the calendar, this will also be reflected on your calendar. When you have completed whatever you need to do in the Manage Dates area, click Done. And you'll be taken back to your course homepage.